Capitol, Houses of Congress. John Stossel is a former 2020 correspondent. He's also the newest member of the Fox News Fox Business team. John, welcome to you. Thank you very much. 28 years at ABC. What what brought you to, to these neck this neck? How did this happen? This <laughs> healthcare story is one of the reasons. I did an hour on healthcare discussing the Michael Moore movie Sicko mm -hmm. and researched a lot. I couldn't get it on the air at ABC. They were doing Michael Jackson stories. Fox covers the news, so finally, yeah. freedom to talk about Good. a few things I know about. Well, it's great to have you here. Talking about healthcare, anytime the government gets involved in something, that innovation kind of goes like yeah. this. Healthcare the same way, right? You, you believe? Totally. I mean, innovation dies when there is one big buyer, and mm -hmm. if government takes over, Healthcare. I mean, one of the reasons healthcare isn't so bad in all those countries where government covers everybody mm -hmm. is because they freeload off our innovation. If you ask doctors, what are the most important inventions in medicine the past 20 years? 90% of them came from our relatively free market system. No. If government takes over, I assume all the prices mm -hmm. come down. That eliminates some people. The innovation comes from the hope that you can make a ton of money. That's that's the greed they trash, but it's that pursuit of the big profit that makes people be willing to spend all their own money to go through the government's horrible 15-year process to get, say, a new drug approved. And you need that profit to get the best new innovation. And I'd rather pay 300 bucks for a yeah. pill if it eliminates a $10,000 operation that hurts more. But you know, you know if, if uh, the administration's watching this, they're saying, wait a minute, we are not, this is not, we're not talking about a government takeover of the entire healthcare system. Uh, we're talking about bringing in a little bit of competition to, to bring down the prices at those other private insurers that lots and lots of people in the country would still be using. Well, that's the public option. It sounds so good. It's public. We like public. And, you know, it's just going to give one more choice, a little competition. Why are you against competition? Well, first of all, there are so many insurance companies. There's plenty of competition. There'd be more if they would just allow people to buy from out of state. Right. But government, when it competes, cheats. In the public option, it would cheat in two ways. First of all, government borrows money more cheaply than anybody else because you'll loan government money because you know they have to pay you back and they will pay you back. So they have that advantage. Secondly, they say, oh, we'll break even. We'll be just like the other private insurance companies. But are you telling me as soon as the congressman's mother is told by Medicare, no, we're not going to cover your hip replacement. You're too old that she's not going to scream, he's not going to scream, and they're not going to break the promise as they always have when they say they're going to run it without taking a loss? No, they'll take a loss, they'll drive all the private insurance companies out of business. And speaking of private insurance, why the insurance companies like it. They say, hey, we'll get more customers and we'll be like a public utility. We won't have to have price competition. Everybody is charged the same. We have to take everybody with pre-existing conditions. The president says, we don't want discrimination. We want community rating, and that sounds good, community. But that's not insurance, that's welfare. It's like. If car insurance companies charge Lindsay Lohan the same thing that they charge you and me, it, it A, wouldn't be fair, and it takes away the good thing insurance companies do, which is to provide good incentives to encourage fire insurance companies, encourage you to have a smoke detector. Healthcare, health insurance companies won't be allowed to charge you less if you diet, if you don't smoke, because everybody's mm -hmm. in it together. Sounds good. It'll cost more. John, it's great to have you. John Stossel with Fox Business Network. He is also on the Fox News Channel. Um, we're not exactly sure when. I'm not sure when either. It's my first day. We're going to be seeing a lot of you, though, John. That much I know. <laughs> Welcome. Thank Welcome aboard. Good to have you with us. First thing you want to well, President Obama's top advisor with strong words for Wall Street firms handing out millions in bonuses sternly